This is a painting of roses that I did from a still life about a year ago. It has a great drawing and very good composition, but I felt like some of the colors and temperatures were off. Today we're going to discuss how we can change some of these colors to correct them and use temperature to give our painting the punch that it needs. And we're going to put that amazing effect of light in our focal area. Remember our focal area is in the middle third of our canvas. We're going to start by changing some of these incorrect shadow colors and adding some transitional values. A lot of these colors need to go much darker and for that we're going to use an asphaltum with a mixture of Indian yellow. As well as making our darks much darker, we need to add that pop to our highlights to give it that punch as well. Our highlights really had no effect, so we're gonna go ahead and put those in now. You'll notice that going much darker makes our highlights pop out even more. We're gonna put in that amazing effect of light in our focal area. The focal area should be in the middle third of our canvas. This is where we should have the highest contrast and value where the brightest bright is up against the darkest darks on our painting. This is where we can also put in sharper edges and more detail. It's a good idea if we concentrate on working from the focal point outward. This is how we're going to be able to draw the viewer to our painting and keep them engaged with it. We're going to work on the backdrop curtain by adding some more highlights to it. This will help us to add more depth to the painting. It'll also help to separate the table from the curtain cloth. I was inspired to go back into this painting and give it what it really needed by some other floral paintings that I have recently done and I felt like I had better success. Sometimes all it really takes is just the courage to go back into it. Our values and colors are starting to look correct and our drawing is looking even better. We're always working on the drawing. It may take several times of reinstating the same marks to get it correct. A lot of times, the more paint we put on, the better things actually start looking. I want to talk about edges for a minute. I noticed this painting needed a lot better variety of edges. Edges like not only hard edges, but soft edges, blurred edges, lost edges. It's also good that we think about having a different variety of brush strokes. Although this is a painting of realism, we want to put in abstract marks. It's surprising to realize that a beautiful painting that looks realistic is made up of a series of abstract marks. I always say that one good way to get abstract marks is to use your opposite hand. I am left-handed and sometimes I will paint right-handed. Having a variety of brush strokes is going to make our painting more interesting. Another good way of getting abstract marks is by holding your brush far back as you can. And remember, you paid for the whole brush handle, so you might as well use it. Value does all the work and color gets all the credit, but it is temperature. Temperature is the key to painting the effect of light. I'd like to take this time to thank you for watching this video. I appreciate it. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Ring the bell so you can get all the content that I create. If you are interested in still life, landscape, or any type of portraiture painting, feel free to contact me.